Good morning, everyone. It is Friday. Welcome to another day of Vlogmas. Oh my goodness. I'm so thankful that it's Friday. I have a lot of things on my mind and not, not related to YouTube or planner things. It's actually like work stuff, which yeah. <laughs> So, um, funny story though, again, not related to work, so I'm bouncing all over the place. I woke up this morning and I was like, oh my God, it is freezing in my house. Like, what has happened? So last night, Nathan was saying that he was hot. I'm like, he's an 18 year old boy, he is always hot. I am a <laughs> just past middle aged, am I middle aged? I don't even know, whatever. Um, you know, pre menopausal, always freezing cold and i know that that might sound odd to some people but i also don't have a thyroid so body control body temperature control is an issue like non-stop i'm always cold always freezing cold so he lowered he lowered the temperature right because i told him you can turn down the heat but just a smidge like the rest of us are cold you know <laughs> and i get up this morning and i'm like what the hell is going on i feel like an ice cube i go to check the thermostats because we have two we have two units and um he turned on the air conditioner. He turned on the air conditioner in December. <laughs> so we, we had a little conversation about that. Um, anyway, it's, it's warming up. We're good, we're good. Um, I'm gonna leave a little bit early. It is Friday, which means I'm gonna treat myself to either Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts, which I think I have rewards at Starbucks. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I've got, I've got so much going on at work today. I don't have my usual Friday meeting because it's been switched to every other Friday, thank goodness. But I just have a lot of stuff that I need to catch up on. I handle some financial stuff at work too and I need to take care of that. Um, and then I have a Microsoft Teams training because I also handle travel for my entire clinic. <laughs> um, not that people are traveling, but it seems like the military is gearing up for things to return to some sort of sense of normalcy. And honestly, it's totally expected because the military has essentially gone without, at least the civilian side, has gone almost a year now without anyone going to training. And a lot of the training requires travel. So I think that we're reaching the point where we're like, okay, people need to get retrained. They need to do, you know, X, Y, and Z to get this moving. And that's what I do. One of the things that I do. So... <laughs> We have to do some updated training and I think it might be like COVID related. I'm not entirely sure. So that's going to eat up my entire afternoon at work. Then I need to have a meeting with my boss about something that should probably not end very well, but it needs to happen. So what else is I going to tell you guys? I don't know, but I have Starbucks on the brain. So we're going to go there and see um, if anyone's feeling chatty <laughs> in the drive through line. <laughs> also, I just wanted to say I love starting off my morning like watching my friends videos i try to like squeeze in time here and there to watch when i can and i usually just pick one when i'm doing my makeup or one later on in the evening and then one like right before bed i try to like spread it out instead of trying to watch them back to back and this morning i was watching sam from happily a housewife i'm sure you guys know who she is and i just i love her like we have been we've been friends for years we've never met but um <laughs> And we've done other projects together, things like that. Um, I don't know if anyone remembers. I think, was it on Periscope? Maybe she'll watch this. Was it on Periscope that we did? A, it was like a planning together. Not planning together. Anyway. It, oh, it was like a girl's guide to planning. It was some sort of guide. To, anyway. <laughs> It was so much fun and I just feel like I miss my friends so much even the ones that I haven't met in person yet but it's so great to connect with them through YouTube because you feel like you're just chatting with a friend about their day and getting to hear what's going on in their world and I just I love that she just keeps it real like nothing's perfect and I I just love that I love that all right um let's go get some coffee there's only one person ahead of me in line. Oh, she was not a chatty one. She was not a chatty one. She just placed her order and kept it moving. There's a bit of a gap between me and the little thing where you can order. So, hmm, I think I might actually make it to work in good time today. <sighs> this is nice. 
thank you, lady in the Ford Explorer. Truly, tis the season. She followed the rules. <laughs> not that there's rules. There's not rules. Anyway, all right, let's order some coffee. All right, I made it to work with a few minutes to spare. <laughs> I almost forgot to take my camera off the mount on my dash, and luckily I remembered just before I got through the gate. Um, so most of you may not know, you're really not supposed to film when you're on post. Well, you can't film the post. Obviously, me just talking to the camera is fine, but I didn't want anyone to like question me. <laughs> Or, you know, you have to get permission from public affairs and you have to get all kinds of clearance. So this is why you never see anything of me actually at work. So <laughs> I was like scrambling. I was like, oh my God, trying to like unwind my camera from the like little screw on the mount there. I was like, shit, shit, shit. <laughs> but anyway, on to other things. I'm heading into work. It's going to be a good day. We're, we're going to. Yep, we're putting that out there into the universe. It is going to be a good day. All right, so I am home from work. It was a rough day is an understatement, <laughs> but I'm glad that it's over. We did get our new furniture into the office. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier. Um, there goes my phone. Um, no, okay. I have been every day for the last couple of days on this damn PlayStation website trying to get in line for a PS5. No luck again today. So, hang on. Okay. Oh, this thing is going to be like, oh my gosh, it's like the number one thing on the Christmas list for Jesse and Nathan, and I've been trying for so many days now to try to get this PlayStation. Anyway, um, so work is over. I had to move my stuff out of my office briefly, then wait for the, um, movers to take out my old furniture, put in the new office furniture, then move into my office. By the time it was done, I had like 15 day, 15 minutes left of my work day and I was like, well, that was super productive. Um, I did run out and get some Chick-fil-A for lunch though. I was like, yeah, it's one of those days. So that was good. Um, Jesse's on his way home. I'm so excited that that turns any day around. Like seriously, he's home all as well. So I'm gonna sit down really quick and we're gonna open up some advent calendars. I know this video is gonna be a little bit short, but bear with me, it's been a day. Let's go open some stuff up. All right, so we are gonna start with plain anything. Oh, I just hit my tripod. We are going to start with plain anything. I'm, I'm always so excited to open these up. I highly, highly recommend getting the plain anything advent box if she does it next year. Let's see what's in here. More stickers. There were stickers a few days ago, but man, I need to I need to start using these in my daily because they are just so so pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay, this sheet is to die for. Look at that. So pretty. I am like obsessed with that little like station wagon with the Christmas tree on top and that Santa is just so cute. I love that. That would be nice just to put like, you know, little bits you know, on your daily planner, like each day, like just as a little accent, like in the corner, that would be really, really cute. Or if you don't have a Christmas kit. Oh, that's so cute. This one just has a lot of like script stuff, like Christmas time, uh, making memories, Christmas gifts, shopping lists, decorate the house. Very, very cute. Um, little, it's almost like a bucket list for um, Christmas time. So that is really, really cute. And then the other one just has some boxes and almost like this you could use like in your monthly if you wanted to if you're doing like kind of like a christmas journal type of thing you could turn it this way and do some journaling there and i just love these decorative boxes that's really cute so three sticker sheets for today's advent in plenty thing which is pretty awesome let's do friends next i feel like this one's like my favorite um like you know, when his friend's not my favorite. Whoa, I just dropped one of the gift tags. All right, we are on day 11. Wow, we're already on day 11. There we go. Let's see what's in here. And there's so many of my friends like on Instagram, they're doing Vlogmas via Instagram and they're opening theirs and I'm like trying to look away. Um, oh, is this more ornaments? More ornaments! I am gonna save all of these and probably do like a little friend's tree next year. <laughs> They've ruined Cranberry Day. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. And it's got the turkey. Oh my gosh, the turkey that Monica puts on her head and dances with, that's the best. And then you've got one that says friends over here. That one is super cute. And then 
the couch from Central Perk. Oh my God, I had like a complete brain cramp. <laughs> but I love that, that's super cute. So two ornaments. I think that's gonna be really cute to do a Friends themed, um, I hate when my camera does that, a Friends themed Christmas tree. Super, super cute. I don't know where my glasses are. I am so sorry. I had to like totally straighten up this part of the living room where I'm keeping all the advent stuff because this is like Jesse's side table. Like I have my side table over there. This is his side table. And there was like piles of advent stuff. And it's like, oh, he's coming home. He might not want my shit all over his space. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. Number 11, David's Tea is Candy Cane Crush. Yes, please, thank you, amen. I already know I'm gonna love this. Oh man, oh man. <sighs> I might have this right now. You guys, it's got little, Chris, is that Christmas trees or little, no, little snowflakes in there. So cute, we're not gonna drop this one today. We're gonna, the camera's gonna cooperate at some point. Let's see. That is just, I know we don't get tea because it's cute, but I love like the little um, extras that, oh my God, that David's tea. Oh, that is so good. Please, dear Lord, don't let it have caffeine in it. All right, so Candy Cane Crush. Let's find it on the back of this box. Okay, so Candy Cane Crush. Oh my God, they're killing me. Okay, let's do the phone thing. One of you guys suggested this and I love you for it. Candy Cane Crush has black tea, white chocolate, oh, milk, milk powder, butter oil, soy, uh, yeah, a whole bunch of other stuff, peppermint, <laughs> peppermint candy, snowflake candies, oh my God, just everything, everything. Um, and then a whole bunch of other, you know, not so great stuff for you because it's got other preservatives or whatever. But it's only got one dot as far as like the caffeine goes, so I'm not too worried about it. I honestly want to make that one like right now, like right, right now. It smells so good. All right, let's get to the Q and A. Uh, you can tell I'm tired if I just start singing things because it's too hard to just speak words. <laughs> oh, I like this question. It is planner related. My favorite pen that is too easy right now, and I'm sure you guys are not gonna be like, oh, are we shocked? Um, <laughs> but my favorite pen is the Sharpie S Gel, and I have tried all of the tips. All of them. Um, <laughs> and the 0.7 is my absolute favorite. I recently tried the 1.0. It's just, it, it's too much for me. Um, and you have to hold it a certain way or else like the starting point of when you write is not, it's just not consistent enough for me. And the 0.5 is too scratchy. Therefore the 0.7 is just right. That is my absolute favorite. And they're coming out with all kinds of like different barrel or body colors of the Sharpie S gel and I am loving it. They started with black, now there's white, gold, there's like a bronze color, there's a blue, there's so many colors and I'm here for it. I love them all. The Sharpie S gel by far is like my favorite pen of 2020 and maybe going into like forever and ever. It completely replaced the Pilot G2, in my opinion, although I've always thought I'm a black ink person, by the way, I think the Pilot G2 is only good in blue ink. You can fight me on that one. <laughs> we can talk about pens for 20 minutes. Um, but the Pilot G2, I think is only good, and I'm sorry, my TV's on, so it's doing weird stuff. It's only good in blue ink. That is it. The black ink and the Pilot G2 is a fail, in my opinion, a complete and utter fail. And yes, I think different colors just come out better than others, and I just don't like the Pilot G2 in black. It's just not my thing. Ink Joy Gel is great, but I'm sorry. The Sharpie S Gel is better. I just love it. There was another pen that I really liked for a while there, but I think that those were like the big contenders for a good hot minute as far as gel pens go. And Sharpie S Gel is where it's at. I'm sorry, folks, but if you haven't tried the Sharpie S Gel, you should try it, and it is linked down in the description box in my Amazon shop. <laughs> All right, let's do, let's do one more. Let's do a holiday one. Ooh, I like this question. 
favorite holiday cookie. No lie, I'm not even sure that it's considered a holiday cookie, but for in our family, it's the only time that I make it, and it's those little um, peanut butter kisses. Is that what they're actually called? Like the peanut butter cookie with the Hershey Kiss. I only make them at Christmas time, so in our family, it is truly a Christmas cookie. Those are my absolute fave, and I can never stop laughing when someone does the whole like elf in the shelf <laughs> squatting over the <laughs> over the peanut butter kiss and it looks like it's pooping <laughs> if you have not done that with your kids and you do elf on the shelf please do it and then send me a picture <laughs> all right that is everything for today i'm sorry that this vlog was a little bit shorter than normal but it was a hectic day and i am going to shut the camera off spend the weekend from with my family there will obviously be plenty of pictures or pictures blah, 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 plenty of videos <laughs> over the weekend um that i've already filmed for you guys because i'm staying a couple days behind on vlogmas um so that i don't have to spend time filming on the weekend and i get to spend it with my family away from the camera so um you guys i hope you had a great weekend because by the time you see this the weekend will have come and gone and yeah yeah, I hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday season and getting some shopping done safely uh, this past weekend. So yeah, I will see you in tomorrow's vlog and just be well, be safe, you guys. The holidays are here and I know that we wanna get together, but please just consider our first responders and our teachers and everything that they're having to deal with because some people can't follow directions. That's my PSA for today. <laughs> All right, guys, I will see you tomorrow. Bye, everyone.